Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who may not know, my name is Lynette and today I want to share with you my daughter's 7 month update. <laughs> She's been very vocal today so I'm hoping to get that I can get through filming without um, it being too crazy. Our daughter had silent reflux which is just um, baby acid reflux and um, it was pretty severe the first three months of her life. It was a very difficult time. Um, I know a lot of moms who ha whose babies have had silent reflux and um, it's honestly miserable. Thankfully we found out that uh, our daughter had a severe tongue and lip tie and that that could potentially cause her silent reflux. We had her tongue and lip tie released so we got the revision done and um, within two weeks it made a world of a difference. Her Reflex basically went away and it was like she was a brand new, completely different baby. It was crazy. So if you follow me on Instagram, you knew about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, but she basically ended up at LA Children's Hospital because um, she her reflex had flared up so badly. Um, and since then, we've had no issues. So I'm super grateful. We did not put her on any medication. Um, we did actually start her on solids. Um, and so I'm wondering if that may have made a difference. Um, I'm sorry if she and I are accidentally flashing you. <laughs> because she loves to tug at my shirt, so I apologize. Right now I've been feeding her all organic um, baby food. I actually made her period carrots myself, um, but I'm just so busy that I've been buying the store-bought um, kind. If you've seen my um, Zero Waste gro Grocery Haul, you'd see that we use Earth's Best Organic Baby Food, um, and she has tried a lot of flavors so far, a lot of different types of food I should say. When we feed her I have to be extremely animated and very smiley and like wide-eyed because otherwise she just does not enjoy the feeding process. And the theme of her starting you know pureed foods, solid foods, um, the texture of her poo has obviously changed. Breastfed babies their poo is water soluble so because we've been doing cloth diapering we literally could just throw her um, poo diapers into the wash and it was fine but now she's kind of in this weird phase where her poo is not quite solid but it's um, not quite water soluble anymore it's this like mushy texture which is making cloth diapering um, a little exciting and gross. We are continuing cloth diapering just because I feel like it's so economical. We've invested in these cloth diapers and um, it's just so much better for the environment instead of using disposables because attempting and transitioning to zero waste and that is just one area where I definitely have to keep persevering in. And if any of you guys have ever cloth diapered and have any suggestions of how I can make it a little less messy that would be great. And um, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying watching her be a wiggle worm. She is so ready to crawl. Um, she can easily get on all fours and kind of like rocks herself but hasn't quite figured out the motion of moving her knees yet. Um, and she tends to kind of you know fall flat sometimes and sometimes face plants. Um, when she's trying to figure out this, the whole crawling thing. So I feel like it's gonna be any day now that she's gonna start crawling. She's finally found the, the B sound, so she's been doing a lot of ba 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 ba. And um, she's not ever done that before, and that just happened maybe like a day ago. She, on average, wakes up about twice a night. She does a, mid a midnight. She does a midnight and a 3 a.m. feeding, and I'm still getting up with her. Um, so I've not actually had like a full eight hours of sleep since January of this year. Um, and I'm working pretty much full time. I'm at like 30 something hours. And um, quite honestly, I'm so exhausted. And we've been trying to feed her as much food in the evening um, and you know, have me nurse her as well before she goes to sleep to kind of get her tank full. And even just you know, doing that doesn't seem to be really helping. Thank you so much for watching our seven month update. My channel is kind of, is more geared towards natural beauty, um, zero waste, a little bit of minimalism and vlogs sprinkled throughout. And then I will drop a couple of mommy videos here and there because 
you know, I have a baby and I'm a first time mom. All that to say, um, thank you again so much for watching and if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more um, monthly updates of my daughter and yeah, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. All right guys, I will catch you next week. I drop a new video every Sunday, so see you next Sunday. Bye.